generations. And now, the power of two restores the one. We got a bidet! Hey everybody and welcome to our channel, Dyad in the Rough. Today we are covering this month's Game Nights with Dyad video. And we are talking about the Star Wars dice game called Face Off. Now you've probably seen this in the stores before and you probably just didn't know it was a game. Why? Because the front of the package was this somewhat weird looking Luke Skywalker image. And then we on the back side we have Darth Vader, which fits nicely because it is face off. Uh, in this video we're going to go ahead and show you how to play the game. There is no setup really to this game so we get to just jump right in. So let's get started. So in Star Wars Face Off the object of the game is to score points by rolling the special dice combination. So there's going to be a bunch of dice that we are going to be rolling. First player to score 250 points is the winner, and we will go over how you get those points with the different combinations very, very soon. However, before we go forward, I do want to point out the different sides of the die. So we have an R2-D2, Luke Skywalker, Chewbacca, and our last hero that is on the dice is Han Solo. So then there are two villains as well. We have the Stormtrooper. And then we also have my favorite, Vader. So between all these dice, there's going to be different ways that you can score points. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at all the different ways in a minute. But we have a couple other things to talk about first. So... What we're going to be doing is we will have each of the players take turns taking the dice and putting it in the cup that we use to store the game with. So you'll put your dice inside of there and then you'll shake it up and you'll roll the dice. And then you're going to look at what you rolled and you're going to declare whether you want to go hero or if you want to go villain. There are two different strategies with each of those. So... Let's talk about what it means to go hero. So if you're rolling your dice and you are looking at the, uh, like you get, you notice you have a bunch of the different hero ones and it matches the different ways to win. So here we're gonna go ahead and put up the different scoring so you can see what wins for heroes and what is considered wins for villains. You can see that there's a whole bunch of different scoring options depending on what you have. For instance, Five of any hero will get you 50 points. A house of heroes will get you 25 points, so on and so forth. You only get these points if you declare the correct side. So if you go hero, you can only score with the heroes. If you, if you declare go villain, well then you can only win with the villain side. So, what are the important things to note? when you are declaring what you want to do. So once you've rolled your dice, you're going to be declaring whether you go hero or go villain. If you go hero and you are going with the light side of the force, you need to try to make one of the go hero scoring combos listed from the ones that we just covered. So you may re-roll up to three dice at a time to go for a better go hero scoring combo. You also may re-roll as many times as you want, and you may change which dice you are re-rolling each time you roll. After any roll, you may stop and take the points for a Go Hero scoring combo if you have one. This ends your turn. However, if the dice you re-roll ever come up all villains, 
your turn is over and you get no points for that turn. So if you're rolling these dice and you're trying to, you know, get the different combinations of the heroes, the ones that you roll, if you roll a pair of villains or more, so let's say we roll, we're trying to get these two dice to be what we want it to be and we end up rolling two Vaders or Vader and Stormtrooper, so on and so forth, you get no points. So you have to be very careful with what you are actually going for. So that's if you're going hero. Now, if you decide to go villain, it's a little bit different. So you try to make one of the go villain scoring combos on the list of different options that we had on screen. You may try one reroll of up to three dice to go for a better go villain scoring combo. If you re-roll, keep your re-roll secret by lifting the edge of the cup and peeking inside to see what you rolled. So if you are going villain, you're going to be rolling your dice. Let's say we want to re-roll these three, and we roll it, and we put it down. We do not want anybody else to see them. We want to peek at it ourselves and decide what's going to happen next. So what can happen next? Well... Declare what go villain scoring combo you rolled. So when you roll it and you look at what you have, you are telling the other players what your score is. Here's the thing though. You may bluff or lie and not tell the truth. So let's say you rolled heroes when you're actually trying to get villains, but you're trying to bluff to the your peers around you so you can get more scoring. Here's how that works. So going around the table, each player gets a chance to challenge you. If a player challenges, then show your dice. If you are caught bluffing or lying, the player who challenged you gets the points for the scoring combo you declared, and you don't get any points. So if you're trying to bluff that you get you got like the highest scoring combo, which is the five of any villain, and someone calls you out and you do not have that, they will get those 100 points. So you got to be very careful with your bluffing. If you were telling the truth, you get double the points for the scoring combo you declared. So if you declare that you got, let's say, four of any villain, which was worth 75 points, and somebody challenges you and you were actually telling the truth instead of getting 75 points you get 150 because we're going to be doubling it if no player challenges you take the points for the scoring combo you declared so in other words if you declare something and you have it and someone challenges you you get double the points if you declare one of the combos and you are not challenged you get what you declared, whether you rolled it or not. And then the last one is, is if you declare something and you are challenged and the, uh, the player challenging you realizes that you were bluffing because you pick up the dice and you lied, they steal your points. So the three different ways there are how the scoring happens if you go villain. So those are the two ways that the, the game can go. Once you have your turn, you pass it on to the next person, and we just rinse repeat until somebody has scored 250 points. And then that player is the winner. This game is made for two to four players, and it's recommended for ages eight and up. All right, everybody, this game is short and sweet, uh, and now you know how to play. So. Go ahead, go out, grab, face off if you haven't already, and play with your friends now that you know how to play. If you enjoy this type of video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. We are trying to do at least one Game Nights with Dyad video a month here at Star Wars Month, so we went ahead and did a Star Wars game for you. And we'll have another one next month for you as well to check out. So... Drop a like if you liked the video, and drop a comment letting us know uh, if you've played the game before or if you're looking forward to it. And then as always, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.